Hey everyone, welcome to today's Halloween look. Today I'm going for this very original, I'm sure you can tell, cat makeup look. So I'm first starting off by just applying foundation as I usually would. Again, this just gives you kind of this nice clean slate to work on. And then I'm also going to go in with concealer. I'm just powdering the face just to make sure all the foundation and concealer sits and doesn't kind of slide away. Now I'm going into the Sigma's Warm Neutral Palette and I'm picking up the shade Cinnamon just as a transition shade. This is on my trusted Zoeva, I think this is the 213 or something brush, I don't know, I'll put it in the description for you. But then I'm going to go into the shade Cozy on a MAC 217 brush. This just makes the whole crease a lot more kind of dramatic and deepened. And then just on a small fluffy brush, I will be taking the shades Russet and Warm Stone, which you can see here. And this is just going to give me a nice kind of framed look to the eye. But afterwards, you'll be able to see that I use some concealer on the actual lid just to cancel out any colour on the lid. And also to give us a bit more of a cat-like shaped eye, I suppose. This is effectively a cut crease look, um, so this is just the easiest way I find to do it. But I am going to go over the top with a Too Faced um, Glitter Glaze, but I don't, I can't remember the shade off the top of my head. But what I'm doing is just using this effectively as kind of a colour base and a primer, because I will be applying some gold glitter over the top. I'm using this on quite a, it's kind of a thin brush, just because I feel like it applies the best. Um, but this actual glitter, I don't know where it's from. But I'm pretty sure that gold glitter is something that you can purchase pretty much anywhere on the internet. So use whatever glitter you have. I'm then also picking up the shade Cinnamon and Cozy from the same palette. And I'm just using this underneath my lower lash line on a small pencil brush just to make the whole look pull together. And you'll be able to see eventually that there is kind of this trio of colour, so it's kind of got the gold in between the two brown shades. Then I'm going on to my liquid liner, and I didn't want to go super cat-like, I just wanted kind of this nice small flick, because I felt like it would maybe take the whole kind of focus away from the eyes. then going in with mascara and some false lashes but again this is totally optional but then I'll also be going into this dark liquid liner here and what I'm doing is just underlining my lower lash line I kind of feel like this is a throwback because I used to do this when I was in year seven at school uh, but anyway what I'm doing is I'm trying to open up the eye so I'm kind of extending the kind of the tear duct area which you can see here and I'm also stopping kind of where I'm using the actual liner on the waterline as well so that it doesn't close it up and just to open it a bit further I'm using some white face paint just to make it look a bit more brighter next we are then going on to the face and I'm using this shade here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit just to contour and I am doing some extreme contouring I am then just using some bronzer just to warm up kind of the outer perimeter of my face so that we don't look kind of 2D. So to start the actual cat process, I'm just using some white face paint on this sponge and I'm dabbing kind of above my cupid's bow area, kind of not going anywhere kind of out of that area. And this is just going to give us that nice little white base to work on. Next I'm going on to the nose, so I'm just going and drawing like this kind of, I don't know how you can explain this, like you can see what I'm doing anyway, um, but I'm just filling that in with the same gel liner I used for my eyes, and this is just going to give that really nice cat nose. Then what you'll be able to see I'm doing is I'm extending that down towards my cupid's bow, but this looked really wonky and I actually went back and redid it, but um, on just on the top here I'm kind of outlining just the top lip and then in that white area that we made earlier I'm just drawing three dots um, just as our whiskers and then what I'll be doing is using a really thin brush to kind of draw the whiskers so I'm literally just with a light hand flicking the 
lines out so that they look like whiskers. Some of the lip I wanted to use that same um, glitter glaze from Too Faced just because I feel like it tied the whole look together and then going back into the glitter I'm using this as my highlight because what cats don't like to highlight with glitter these days um, I don't know very spontaneous but uh, I like how it come out and then to finish the whole look off I am popping in some cat eye eye lenses and that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this, I know it's very simplistic but it's an easy kind of alternative for Halloween so thank you so much and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!